So recently... Oh, Josh, in 30 years' time... Sorry, I shouldn't have done this. In 30 years' time, will you be here running these kind of events? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry, I think I interrupted you. That was a really naughty thing to be So, um, a couple of weeks ago, I saw this on the internet, and um, I bought it, and my mum bought one for school, and... Um, we saw it would be really good. So, does anyone know what it is? The official display for Raspberry yeah. Pi. So, it's a little bit of This is the back of it. So, here you have the um, Raspberry Pi itself. And then it has the driver board, which is the thing that controls the screen. And it's got like different ribbon cables. It's also powered by two jump wires connecting the driver board and the rest of the pipe. I'm just going to show you a little demo on the black Touch screen itself. This is like the desktop here. I've got a little webcam at the top. And um, there's the back of it there. There's the ribbon cables and the jump wire. And um, what we're also trying to figure out is with this thing called the black hat hacker, where, um, which you can have a hat and also have the GPIO pins as well, having them to work with. Josh, if you just mention the, the fact that you need the hacker is, because at the moment... Oh yeah, the, we've, how you we've come across the across a problem where the, the jumper wire, so you can see it there, from the presentation, So the jumper wires are currently using the GPIO pins and the black hat hacker needs those pins. So we're quite confused to how else you power it. We've seen this thing on the Raspberry Pi website where they're using a USB cable, I think. But um, we don't know what one of those is. So if anybody knows what it is, um, does anyone know? I can help with that. Is there a USB port outside that you can then power the Pi with? The power for the driver boards at the top is a USB port at the side, which just take power and power your Pi. Okay. Okay. Just the USB to the battery. Is it giving enough power? Because yes. what they were saying was something about something that can appear at the corner of the screen, like a rainbow. Yes, that's if your power supply doesn't give it enough power. Right. But if you put more power in, so if you get like a, a one out power supply, so I've got one out power supply out of these screens, then you get the rainbow stuff at the side. Yeah. Just a little thing that says there's just not enough power coming in. Right. But if I power it off something with a bit more oomph, yeah. it's fine. So, so basically, what you're saying, Josh, is to use the hats that, like Kimaroni sells, like the unicorn hat, the Skywriter, and all that, they sell something for £10 called the Black Hacker that you uh, break out the GPIO pins so that you could basically still use the hat and have a touch screen at the same time, which for a classroom is a lot better than having all your monitors and your keyboards and everything. This is what I've, met, I've encountered this problem myself because I wanted to use the, uh, the sense hat on top of the Raspberry Pi. What I did is I bought one of these from CPC, and all it is is just a, it's, it's just a, it goes on the back. It goes on the back of the Pi. Use the webcam. Josh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Josh has got the best tech with you. Josh has got the best tech with you. So. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so, I've got this. Um, 
normal orientation. Um, not focusing very well. Uh, but um, yes, so it's basically this, uh, gives you act, it allows you to double the GPIO pins because the hat, the sensor hat, um, so it's not focusing very well. The sensor hat takes all of the GPIO pins, which is uh, awkward if you also want to use those pins to do something else. So um, I'm just going to do this convention. It's not, it's not, can't focus. So this this little thing only costs about two pounds from CPC. And you just solder it onto the back of the pie. So it sounds a bit uh, drastic to solder direct to the pie, but it's actually very easy to do. It can do it about two minutes, and it's actually very safe to do. It just means that you basically get two GPI with O headers. Uh, as long as you know which pins the, the hat that you're using is you uses on, on uh, as, as long as you don't double those pins up, you're absolutely safe. So I don't know if that's useful to you. Yeah. This is cheaper than um, the, the, what's it, the black hat. Just sold the direct and that's five volts of pineapple. You can of course do that as well. But that's if you also, <laughs> if you want to use other GPI a bit, if it's not right. power, if you actually right. want to use GPIOs to do other things, then wow. you can you can do that. Pyface also do an extension board, which you can put on the GPIO pin and then put multiple units on. I don't know whether that's the way or not. Right. Yeah. But this 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 seems to be the cheapest solution, and it's and also the most compact that I could find. It's just so it's just just solder it onto the back of the pie because the, the pins come out the back and not that you can solder it to the board, and then you can then you can just plug in your GPIOs in there and still use the same hat. Or any other hat. So, so, so that's useful to anyone, so that might be useful to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.